Hi everyone, today we're making a German elf baker with gingerbread cookies and Linzer cookies, two of my favorites. And as always, there's the stuff we're going to be using. You don't have to make them in green, you can make them in red, whatever colors you want. And we are going to start with cutting our hook, which we should do at the beginning of every ornament. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, I just had a little sip of coffee. So my mom, who, as you all know by now, I'm German. My parents were German. And my mom used to make like, oh gosh, I don't even know how many different cookies at Christmas. And the gingerbread and the Linzer cookies were some of my favorites. Of course, she made these little nutball cookies that were, oh, they were so good. Oh, well. I'm sure all that contributed to my diabetes, but we'll get past that. Now we're going to start by making his pants, and we're just going to roll out a log and fold it over. Very easy. I have a lot of traffic outside today, so you may hear a lot of car and truck noises. I was going to go up to my house out in the middle of nowhere and do the narration, but we're supposed to get rain all week. And I don't feel like driving up there in the rain. So to do the stripes on his stockings, we're just going to make some thin ropes and put them on. And then we'll use the needle tool to just, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. And we're going to use the needle tool to just divide it. See, very easy. So you don't have to do four separate ones. Just do two and then use the needle tool. Now, my mom uh, makes the Linzer cookies, but her recipe, she calls them tea cookies. And she has two different gingerbread recipes. One is extremely complicated. Now, we're making teardrop shapes for his shoes, and we are putting the fat end for the heel. And then we're kind of curling up the pointed end. Sometimes we do it the other way around, but for the elves, we do it this way. And we're going to do cuffs on his pants. I almost feel like in this video that I'm going too fast for everybody. And now this is the flap, of course, that goes on the later hosen. You know, I come from a German family, and I, I just wonder what purpose is there for the later hosen. I don't know. Maybe just, um, I don't know, just a cultural dress type thing. I don't know. Something I'll have to research. But everyone has been pretty good on doing research for me because... I got answers about what the hat was called. And thank you so much. <laughs> now here we've made his body and his arms. And we're not going to move his arms yet. I'm not sure how we're going to do that. But he's going to be holding two trays.
and I'm going to try and see if I can put, oh, excuse me, if I can put my mom's cookie recipes for the gingerbread and the Linzer cookies on here. And the Linzer cookies are just basically two cookies with jelly between them and some confectioner's sugar on top. But they are, I think, the absolute favorite in the family. My mom was a great cook and a great baker. Oh, my gosh. My dad always said she could make something out of nothing and make it taste really good. And that was very true. Now we're doing a little bit of a different collar for him. I'm doing it green and red. Of course, you know, you can do this any colors you want. I really like making the elves. They're just some of my favorites. Now, I made that one a little bit bigger to, to put his head on. See the green one in the middle? And we're going to add his head. And remember, don't flatten his head. Leave it round. I don't want to see any flat heads. And he's going to have a chef's hat on. And make sure you press it onto his head. My older brother, who I take care of, he was an auto mechanic all his life, as was my father and my other brother. Then my youngest brother has his own towing company. So it's all, <clears throat> wow, I can't believe I'm losing my voice. Anyway, it's, we're, all, we're a car family. Car, everything's cars. But he said if he had to do it all over again, he would have been a chef. Not that I ever saw him cooking, so I don't know. I know he likes to eat. We're doing the pointy ears. I think with the cookies, it was, I, I don't know. Let's see, I did this video a few years ago, so I don't remember how I did the cookies. I think I just cut. Now, the Linzer cookies, I made them square in here, so you, it could be something besides Linzer cookies. But um, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Oh, I'm making the tray. I put a little clay, I covered the clay with the aluminum foil to make the tray to give it some substance. Then we're going to do his hand to hold the tray. The little gingerbread cookies are very easy to do. You see, if I ever get around to it. It's 
It's the same way we did his pants. We're going to roll the little log and then fold it over to make their legs. And then we're just going to add the head and the arms. We'll add the arms first, I believe. I should be talking here. I'm sorry. I'm just watching myself make gingerbread cookies. I hope you're watching too. I'm definitely going to try to get the uh, recipe at the end here. And it's from my mother's recipe book and it's in her handwriting. And I actually uh, took pictures of them and I have them on my phone so I can always refer to my phone when I'm doing some of her recipes. So I carry her recipes around with me, the ones we use the most. And one, one of the meals that everybody wants, I see I should have edited here, but one of the meals that everybody wants is what's called Roladen and then we make dumplings and red cabbage with it. It's a real German meal. But the rolladen, it's just thin meat. And you put, I put horseradish mustard, chopped onions, chopped pickles, slices of bacon, and then you roll them up and you tie them with string and cook them. And oh my gosh, that is so good. Let me know if you want the recipe. I have pictures. But I don't know what I'm doing here. Maybe I should just stop and cut this out. Oh, there's my hand. I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> I guess I'm trying to figure out how to do the Linzer cookies. And I should have figured that out before I started the video. Um, what I decided on was I'm going to use red for the jelly on the inside. And I'm, uh, well, maybe I'm making a red tray. Never mind. But I do use the red for the jelly on the inside. Gosh, it's been a few years since I did this. And I always review these videos that I had from years ago before I narrate them and put them out to you to make sure if I need to edit anything, but I I totally forgot to do it with this one. Whoa. Sorry. Well, look, I did edit there. Now, I did make these square, so I decided, I think I used the Kemper cutters. I use the Kemper cutters to make the holes that go in the middle of the cookie. The Linzer cookies are actually two cookies put together, and one has a, a hole cut out of it. And then you put jelly in the middle, and you put the two together. I'm just texturing, and that's going to be my jelly in the middle of the cookie. I used to, for years when I made these cookies, I used to dip them into the confectioner's sugar to cover them up. And then my aunt said to me, no, no, use uh, the, the little sifter. Just put the sugar in the sifter and sift it over the cookies. And you could do like 50 cookies in the time it would take me to do five. 
See, you live and learn. I couldn't quite get the color for the cookies. See, I thought I used the Kemper cutter to do the holes, but I guess the Kemper cutter was, they were too big. I couldn't get the small holes. This elf is actually more work than the German Santa. Almost looks like a cherry pie. So I was telling you about the Roladen. I think I may have mentioned this in a, them in another video. When everyone comes for Thanksgiving, they don't want turkey. They want the Roladen. I think I made 32 of them last Thanksgiving. And as I've said before, you can use your blade to cut this. I don't use the blade because it can get bloody. I know my eyes are so bad that sometimes I pick it up with the wrong end and I cut myself. So. I should call these something else besides the Linzer cookies because Linzer cookies are not that big. They're maybe the size of the gingerbread man's head. But, I mean, you can make them any size you want. But And they should be round, but you can make them square. I've made them square. One year I made them square so I could fit them into the little... Um, tin cookie canisters, you know, that you use to give us gifts. So I made little one inch square cookies. Wow, that was a lot of work. Can't forget his nose. And what else do we not forget? Always blush before you bake. And of course, you're going to bake him according to the instructions on your clay package. Because I don't know what brand clay you're using, so follow your instructions. And of course, you can paint the mouth on, or you can make the mouth yourself here. I'm just texturing the little gingerbread guys. Yeah. 
gave him a big, big smile. And now this is just some embossing powder. I got a whole bunch of that in different colors from a lady who did rubber stamps at a show I did. She was always, every year she was across from me. And this is like my little powdered sugar on top of the cookie. Doesn't that make you hungry for a cookie? And that's it. Bake him and paint him and paint the details on the gingerbread. And there he is, all painted and done up. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to see if I can get those recipes at the end of this. So see you next time.